In this video I'm going to show you how to add a configurable product, which is essentially just a collection of simple products with an attribute that differs. And the first thing that we need to do is create attributes that we can, on the front end, choose our products by. These are known as configurable attributes. An example would be uh, size or color. Um, the author attribute that we created for our book in our simple product video wouldn't be appropriate as a configurable attribute because you would never choose your book and then choose its author. You know, you choose something uh, such as a t-shirt or um, a pair of trousers and then choose their size or you may even choose the color. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two attributes by going to catalog attributes, manage attributes again and I'm going to create a new one. I call it size. I'm going to set the scope to global and it's going to be a drop down attribute. And then the last thing I need to set down here is this use to create configurable products. I'm going to change that to yes. And then I'm going to add some options for my configurable attributes. So I'm going to stick to mail sizes, so small. large and extra large okay I'm happy with that I'm also going to create color as well there is already a color attribute I'm just going to create a new one split it with the British spelling I'm just going to add some random colors in here okay and so on I could add hundreds more colors in there but that'll do for now so I'm going to click save attribute okay so we've got a color and size attribute now for our configurable product so the example I'm going to do is a t-shirt so before I go to create the product I need to create a new attribute set so I'm going to go into manage attribute sets and I'm going to base it on the default attribute set as I did with the book before Ooh, went the wrong way there add new set I'm going to call it clothing you may be able to go a bit more specific and have something such as uh, t-shirts but I'm quite happy with the clothing for my attribute set I'm going to base it on the default right I'm going to create a new group in here called clothing attributes I'm going to bring in my two new attributes into that folder so we've got color and size let's move that up a bit further there we go I'm going to save the attribute set so now I'm ready to start creating my products now, as I said earlier a configurable product is literally just a set of simple products you never actually buy the configurable product. If you imagine a item of stock in a warehouse, you never buy, you never look at an item in that warehouse and see t-shirt, for example. You'd see a t-shirt and it would be in a color and it would be in a size. Um, so what we need to do is create the simple products of those colors and sizes to start with. Go to catalog, manage products. And we're gonna add a few different sizes and colors of our uh, t-shirts to start with. This is the first way of adding simple products to a configurable product. So it's going to be clothing and it's going to be a simple product. Right, so let's start with black t-shirt small and then it doesn't matter too much what the description and short description is because we're not going to see these on the front end. So I'm going to just put in there 
the name of the product and then the SKU Gonna make sure it's clearly identifiable. I want it to be enabled and I want my visibility to be not visible individually because I don't want to find this product on its own in the store. I only want to see it via our configurable product. Okay, the next step is clothing attributes. So it's a black t-shirt and it's small. So I'm gonna to go to clothing attributes, black, small. I'm going to choose a price for it of £10. I'm going to make sure that it's taxable as well. I'm not going to worry with meta information on this one because it's not going to be seen on the front end on its own. And I'm not going to worry about images either because they'll also be via the configurable product because you're not going to see this product on its own. The only thing I need to do is go to the inventory and check that it's in stock. So. Let's put a lot of these in stock and set it to install. I could set categories for it. Um, if you're doing catalog promotion, sometimes it's helpful to have in the category. So for example, if I wanted this product to be in a promotion whereby all t-shirts, any product in the t-shirt category gets knocked down by 10%, that's a good opportunity to, to do that. But I'm, I'm gonna leave this as it is for the time being. And click, click save and continue edit. So there we go, we've created our small black t-shirt and that's ready to go into our configurable product. One thing I can do in here is I can duplicate it. And this time I can change it to the medium one. leave most of these settings as they are. Obviously I need to go into clothing attributes and change this to medium. Price can stay as it is, tax class can stay as it is. Inventory, whenever you duplicate a product by the way, it always sets the quantity to zero and sets it as out of stock. So make sure you go in and do this because it will catch you out otherwise. And I'm happy with the rest of it. So I'll click save. Okay, so there we go, we've got a t-shirt in small and medium. Now I'm happy to begin creating my configurable product. So what I'm gonna do is click add product. Same attribute set, clothing, and the product type will now be a configurable product. Click continue. Now this, um, when this page comes up, we've got a choice now, we can either have our product selectable by color or by size or by both. So if you imagine the front end of the site, it will tell you color, choose your color, and then all the different colors will come up or it will come up with size, choose your size, and the different sizes available will come up. You can choose which size or color you want, or you can have both. So I'm gonna say, choose this color and then choose your size. If, you, if you're creating a configurable product called um, T-shirt blue, you might only have size as a configurable option, but because I'm going to create just t-shirt I want people to be able to choose their color and their size at once so I'm going to tick both of those and click continue right so let's start putting some product information in very basic t-shirt is the name Cheesy description. And the skill will just be t-shirt. I'm gonna set it to enabled. And this time I want my visibility to be catalog search so that you can browse through the product catalog and find it. You can also search for it as well. The price, I'm just gonna put it as 10 pounds again. And the tax class will be taxable. Okay, so I can put some meta information in here. So um, I'm just going to replicate what I had before. I'm 
Okay. So now I can put some images. As this configurable product is going to be seen on the front end, it makes sense to add some images. So I'm going to click Browse Files, and I'm going to find the four images I've got prepared. Okay. It's going to spend a couple of minutes just making sure this is all properly filled in. And I think I have my default uh, image to be the black one. I don't need to exclude any of these images from the gallery because I'll, you might want to have to click back after having looked at one of them. Right. Categories. I'm going to put into my newly created t-shirts category within clothing. Not going to have any related products, upsells or cross-sells. Not going to have any custom options. It's now time to start adding some associated products. So far, all we've got are the two that we've created. And what it'll do is it'll bring back products which are compatible. So these simple products are compatible because they've got a size and a color attribute both set with them and they're both part of the clothing attribute set. So that's why they're available. All you've got to do is tick the tick box down there and it'll bring them both in. So I'm happy with that now. So I'm going to click save and continue edit. So there we go, we've now got our configurable product ready to go with two simple products as part of it. So on the front end I'd be able to choose nothing because it doesn't show up. What have I missed? Inventory, I've not said it's in stock. Remember to do that and you won't have any problems like I've just had. So there we go. Go to the front end, there's our t-shirt, we've got two sizes available, medium and small, and we've got one colour available. Okay, so let's say we wanted to add a few more, because this product's also available in blue, and green, and red. Going back to our product editor, you'll see that having saved the configurable product, we've now got this quick simple product creation tool, which makes creating Simple products for your configurable product, very, very quick and easy. All you have to do is name it, fill in this information and click quick create. So let's also have a red t-shirt in small. You can have it auto generate the SKU if you want to, but I'm just gonna do it manually. Be small and red. I'm going to leave the price as it is and click quick create. And as you can see, it's getting added down there, it's been added to the list, pre checked already, and you can see in here all the different options as well. Okay, so we've got a medium one in there as well. Just gonna make sure we've got one in every color available.
Okay, so we've got a lot of options down there. What you can also do is you can change these around, so depends which one you choose first. So here I can have color selected first, then size. And you can also change the price. So if I want my blue option to be five pounds more, I could put five pounds more in there. And if we click save, check our product on the front end of the site. So we have our options in here. There's our blue one at five pounds more. It'll update the price for you, and it's only available in large. Again, if we now change it to green, let us know that there's five pounds off, and it's only available in large. I think we've got one in red available in all sizes. Yeah, so medium. Then you're free to add it to your cart. There you go. That's a pretty basic example of how to set up a configurable product. Thanks for watching.